Welcome back to Deadline Hollywood. I'm Brian Corsetti with Pete Hammond, Deadline's awards columnist. We are breaking down Pete's picks for screenwriting. This is always interesting, you know, the writing categories, because you don't always uh, uh, reward the obvious movie choices. Last year, Woody Allen won his fourth Oscar with The Midnight in Paris. That's where they gave him the award. It's an alternative award. If they're going to give it best picture to something else, something else, they can award the writer something here, which is nice. I think in the adaptation is where we have the real race here, because these are the real strong best picture candidates that are going head to head. You have Tony Kushner, this Pulitzer Prize winning, Tony winning playwright, uh, Angels in America, this great stuff, who wrote Lincoln. It came out as a 500 page script originally, beautifully researched and now with a little bit of controversy because a Connecticut congressman said that that's not the way it happened. That could have hurt it because it came out right yeah. during voting. So I have switched to Argo, which I think is gonna win Best Picture, but I'm not comfortable saying Argo's only gonna win Best Picture, so I think it's gotta win a couple of other things sure. too. Writing is usually where you're gonna go hand in hand with a Best Picture winner. Chris Terrio, who wrote it, did such a great job weaving in all these elements of tone from comedy and the Hollywood sequences to uh, what goes on in Iran to the almost documentary-like beginning of the film. I thought he did a great job. He won the Writers Guild Award, and that may be a factor, may not be. But I think uh, Argo is going to squeak it out. If it doesn't, the winner of the British Academy Award, Silver Linings Playbook, which is a beautifully written adaptation. That should get more love. Oh, it's so good. And David O. Russell is just a great writer and director. I have a feeling this will go to Argo. And a lot of people would have been shocked if I had said this four weeks ago, because it was Lincoln's. This was going to be a Lincoln Award. In the original screenplay category, it's much more difficult to call. There are a lot of Best Picture nominees there. Django Unchained, Zero Dark Thirty, Amour, which is the rare kind of foreign language picture that's in this. And then Moonrise Kingdom, its sole nomination came for writing. Wes Anderson, Roman Coppola, beautiful, quirky, funny script. Yes. It opened Cannes last year. I love that movie. Usually a Best Picture nominee has a better chance. More people have seen it and liked it. I'm going for a long shot here. Michael Haneke, who's 70 years old, a great filmmaker, wrote a more. It's a very spare script. It's, it's not obvious writing. I'm flipping the switch here uh, and saying for the first time since 1966, a film will win original screenplay and best foreign language film. The last time that was done was A Man and a Woman in 66. And ironically, that also starred Jean-Louis Trintignant, star of Amour. So there's some symmetry here. I'm not stupid, Brian. For the latest up-to-date news on this year's Academy Awards, you want to check out Deadline.com and follow Pete on Twitter at Deadline Pete. I'm Brian Corsetti. We'll see you this Sunday.